The January 6th hearings have been spicy, but she stole the show. We're going to get charged with every crime imaginable. This is Not My Party, brought to you by The Bulwark. Last week, former Trump staffer Cassidy Hutchison summoned the courage to do what none of the grown-ass men around her had the stones to. It's gotta be emasculating. She told the truth about what happened in the Trump White House in front of the entire world, risking her career in the face of violent threats. It takes a lot of courage. Her story confirmed Trump did want to overthrow a legitimate election. He knew there could be violence that day at the Capitol, and he didn't care because he's a big man baby who just wanted to keep his White House toys. It is remarkable that a Gen Z staffer who was just 24 years old when this all went down, will go down as the boldest and the bravest in these hearings. Listen to this. I overheard the president say something to the effect of, I don't effing care that they have weapons. They're not here to hurt me. Take that effing mags away. Man, what a piece of shit. So huge kudos to Cassidy, but still, it left a lot of people asking, why just her? Yeah, what gives? Well, gang, as it turns out, I wrote a book trying to answer that question. It's called Why We Did It. The book tries to explain why people who knew better went along with Trump and why some like Cassidy broke away. Really? Can't wait to hear this. While it focuses mostly on why me and my former colleagues are kind of responsible for our crazy politics, at its core, the book is about something deeper than that. How all of us, at times, do some mental gymnastics to go along with bad stuff. So today, Uncle Tim wants to share a few lessons I learned while writing the book and interviewing my old colleague. School is in session. One, sometimes you have to be the turd in the punch bowl. We have a turd in the punch bowl. Breaking away from a group is hard. Nobody wants to wag their finger of their friends and say, this is wrong. You might get shunned, made fun of. In Cassidy's case, physically endangered. But here's the thing. It's easy to demonize the other team, but nothing will ever get better if we don't turn the finger pointing back on ourselves. Number two, open up your brain compartments. Open your mind. I wrote about being a gay guy working for anti-gay candidates. How did I do that? Well, I just tucked that one little conflict in the back corner of my brain and didn't deal with it unless I had to. No, that sounds really unhealthy. Yeah, no sh We all do this, but in the long term, it's better to deal with these inconvenient truths than ignore them. I'm super serial. Number three, if you think you're the one good egg in a bad batch, you're probably already rotten. Others from Trump's staff justified staying because they were on Team Normal. <laughs> They figured they were better than those pillow slanging, coup pushing crackheads. But notice, nobody who told themselves they were on Team Normal spoke out like Cassidy. Why? Because they'd been corrupted by the crazy. Know the power of the dark side. Four, don't get sucked up by the rush. Whether it was becoming a political hitman or doing big time TV hits, I've always loved the jolt of adrenaline from the political game. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. But this drive for fame or power or money can be no different from a drug addiction. Never get high when you own supply. Your brain receptors start to block out your conscience until one day you're dancing backstage while the world burns. Yeah. She's pretty terrible. Now, none of this means you have to become a shepherd or move to Haiti to build houses or just travel the earth doing good deeds like Cain. What you mean walk the earth? You know, like Cain in Kung Fu. Politics, like any other business, is competitive. Purity is not always realistic, but the least we can do is stop lying to ourselves. Be aware of the ways we can be corrupted and say no when lines are crossed and never cover for someone or something that you know in your heart of hearts is a little bit evil. Example? You didn't know the TV footage was a video from January the 6th? You would actually think it was a normal tourist visit. <laughs> so go check out Why We Did It, available now, and we'll see you next week for more Not My Party. For more weekly episodes of Not My Party, smash that subscribe button.